Hey everyone, Matt here, and today I've just got a little tip on how you can use Mesh Mixer to orientate difficult parts so they're sitting flat on the print bit. If you've had much experience with FDM printing, then you know that the orientation that you print your parts in is really important. Now, often when you download parts off the internet or they're sent to you from a designer, they'll import into your slicing software in the wrong orientation. But usually that's just a matter of rotating by 90 or 180 degrees to fix. What happens if you've got a part that's like this? Or like this? You'll have a hard time getting it perfectly flat even if you're rotating in 1 degree increments. That's when you need a tool in software to say, make this surface perfectly flat on the bottom. Which Simplify 3D does have, and Microsoft 3D Builder sort of has. Uh, but if you're on a Mac, or you just want to know how to do it in Mesh Mixer, here's how you do it. So I've imported this model which is currently sitting on this surface here, on the bottom, which obviously isn't ideal for FDM printing. We actually want it to be on this surface here, at the bottom. So to do that, we'll go Edit, and then we're going to be using just two tools in this menu, which are Create Pivot and Align. So we'll first click Create Pivot, and set the placement mode to Bounding Box, and just click on the model and click Drop Pivot. Then we're going to make another one, which is uh, set the placement mode to snap to face center. And then just click anywhere on the flat surface that you want to be on the bottom, just like that. And click drop pivot again. So that's just created two points in 3D space. And we're going to use the align tool to align this model to that pivot. So click align. Uh, we want to set the source pivot to uh, that second one that we did on the flat surface that we want to be on the bottom and set the destination by holding shift and clicking on the first pivot. And just like that, it's set it perfectly flat for us. So click accept, and there it is, all done. Now just as another demonstration, I've brought in this part, which uh, really needs to be reoriented, definitely. Um, so I'm just going to do the same thing, go edit, create pivot. First one is set to bounding box, click on the model, drop pivot. And then another one on snap to face center. And I'm just going to set it to be flat on this face. So click anywhere there. That's looking good. Drop pivot. Done. Click align the second pivot. Hold shift and then click the first pivot. And accept. And there we go. That one's oriented perfectly as well. That's all for today's video guys, I hope that little trick can help you out with many prints to come. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see any future 3D printing tutorials or project videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.